What do you do when you skip a fusion? I'm pretty new. I surely don't have the resources for the fusion. I'm not going to bother trying. And um, he's going to go for the Lego book. Uh, then what? He's not going to use the rare copy of the fusion. At this point, I don't really think I want to spend energy on Dragon because I'm not going to do the fusion, just like I said. So, so what do you do usually with your energy when you don't have anything to aim for for a few days? Should I remax my food stock for the next champion training event? Sorry for the bad English French guy here. Um, good question, Kasat Plarium. Uh, good question. And I, I don't think this is something that's been addressed too much. Um, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it. What do I do? I'm an end game player. What do I do with my energy? So you don't want to do this, right? You don't want your energy to go up to almost 10,000. All right. If you're trying to min max your energy and use your resources as efficiently as possible, you're going to want to make sure that you're using every little drop of energy as soon as it gets replenished, just to make sure that you're getting every little bit of value that you can. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to be on my phone all the time. I don't want to have Raid up or my PC on the entire time. It's just not worth it to me. So what am I doing? I'm chilling. I'm not really doing anything on here except for Live Arena, live arena when it pops up. And I'm still trying to get this damn Impulse helmet. That's the last thing that I need. Same thing for the Zeal. I just need a helmet. So goddamn annoying that I've gotten three live arena chests so far and none of them had a helmet. None of them had a fucking helmet. Can you believe that? I'm pretty sure you can. Um, but that's basically what I do. I just chill. Oh, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see how um, consistent this team is for Sand Devil 25. This is a 15 second run, 11 turns. And I wanted to see how, like, what the percentage is. So I'm saving up my energy. I think I'm going to do, like, 300 runs and then report to you guys on that. But that's basically what I do. Nothing. You know, I do Hydra. I just throw it on auto for the most part. Doom Tower or whenever, you know, it's like a free battle pass. Same thing with Cursed City. Shout out to Ares who taught me that. And I didn't do this before, guys. Side note, I wasn't focused. Like, I, I would do everything that I could do on hard Centranos, and then if I couldn't do one on auto, I was just gonna leave it. I wasn't really gonna just you know spend the resources of the time trying to get it done. And then if I can get to Amias, I'll get to him. But I don't know if I'll mess around with him this time around. But I was skipping normal altogether. I wasn't doing this because I was like, oh, you know, the resources aren't, aren't whatever. But uh, shout out to Ares because he was like, bro, you should you should do it. It's like a free battle pass here, dude. You should do it because it's you know it's free real estate. So now I'm going to be doing normal uh, whenever it comes around because he's right. Even if it's, uh, you know, something small, just take it. I'm going to start seeing what other people say, but that's my opinion. That's what I do. I'd be interested to see what you guys do down in the comments below. Bright Linger says, you do whatever you want. Often Minotaur, Sand Devil, or Shogun. You can still do some of the events if you want the milestones, or you can take, the, take it easy and spend less time on the game. That's true also. Oftentimes, the events have pretty decent rewards in them sometimes there are things like deck of fates that are more enticing oh i get i can't show you right now but sometimes you'll get something like the deck of fate that is a lot more enticing than the actual fusion itself so you can spend your time and resources doing that uh his title is new he said he's new so he's not gonna do sand devil or shogun mini far um maybe mini oh minotaur or farm gear that's yeah if you're a newer player that's what i would do I would just tell you to farm uh, farm gear, basically. There, and I do get this question a lot, like, oh, what do I do next? If you're lost and you don't know what to do in raid, go farm gear. That's basically it. Go hit, go hit dragon and eventually work your way to the higher echelons of the dungeons. But, but yeah, if you don't know what to do, just go farm gear. Nothing wrong with stacking silver or getting new pieces of gear. Uh, the epic is pretty good for newer players. The epic is good for new players? Let me see. Let me finish what he what he had to say first. The epic is pretty good for newer players. I would probably try for some copies, maybe do arena tournaments, art, which are the easier ones to do. Artifact enhancements, which is you know there's nothing wrong with doing that. But also I think Polarium does a lot of artifact enhancement events, so we're not sitting on a hundred million silver or some of the easy dungeons to get some. If you aren't going for the fusion, I wouldn't spend any shards. That's true. 
Although, Nut. Newt is out right now. Progressive chance. It's enticing. Imagine having two nuts. Is it wrong I would rather have the plus four epic than the actual fusion champion? I don't think so. Of course not. There's still many ways to skin a cat in this game. I like that. Many ways to skin a cat. I would like to hear your reasoning, though, as I paid very little attention to this fusion and none to the epic. I want to see the epic. Can we finish this? Okay. Oops. Um, too long, didn't read. The epic got a higher score than the Lego on hellhades.com. The epic is an extender and a cleanser. Pretty decent, actually, and a plus four would be good. Worth considering. Have too many Lego nukers waiting for books. Gonna grab it quickly. That I might consider this, yeah. I'll be doing Minotaur for a lot of champs. Fusion isn't worth it for my account. This guy says he's going to enjoy life. That's pretty damn funny. Uh, when I skip a Fusion, I tend to do a, a few things I know that's going to progress my account while also setting myself up to have an easy Fusion for one that I would like. For myself, that means Minotaur, Sand Devil, stockpiling gems, and sometimes targeting specific dungeons for gear I would like to improve upon. Fire Knight for Savage, for an example. Or for me, at this stage, I'm looking more towards Cursed Gear with Ice Golem. Passively stock up on some 4-5 to five star food in the reserve vault, and if I feel comfortable with my shard stash, might participate in a 1 plus 1 or a particularly attractive, uh, attractive progressive event. Beyond that, I kind of just dick around. Maybe do some re-gearing for a Hydra team or put together a team for an annoying Centronus floor. I'm around 21 months in, just say, almost 2 years. Just say almost 2 You guys ever do that? You ever meet people with kids and you ask them, like, oh, how, how, old, how old is your kid? And she's like, or he's like, oh, he's uh, he's 36 months. Just say he's three. I would, as a newer player, as you've mentioned, focus on the free legendary book and champ training and then be looking to make progress in clan boss, faction wars, doom tower, and hydra. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, getting those areas sorted out is your best path to getting solid rewards that will keep your account moving forward. That's pretty much it, guys. If you're newer, you're going to want to look at what area of the game you can improve on. Pick one thing. Just pick one thing. Then improve it. Like, you could say, like, oh, um, I'm not doing... Uh, what am I not doing? What? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's just say you're, you're struggling in Spider. Just focus down on Spider. Do that. Go as far as you can for Hard Spider. Try to get a speed team in, and that's what you're working on, basically. If you have nothing else to do, pick one thing, focus down on that one thing. Let's go ahead and look at this epic, because I did not look at any of the epics. I didn't even look at the rares. I completely, like, I saw um, what I saw, and I wasn't really... It looks like a giant skunk. It looks like a giant skunk. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Attacks one enemy twice. Each hit has a books up to 35, 50% chance of placing heal reduction for two turns. Cool, cool. AoE, decrease accuracy, all right. Also increases the duration of ally buffs by one. Nice. Removes two random debuffs from all allies, then heals by 10% of their max HP. Also places increased accuracy. Pretty useful. Decreases the damage all allies received from poison debuffs. Hmm. That's new. Decrease the damage all allies receive from poison. Now, I don't know who's going to go out of their way to kill you with poisons. Oh, you know what? I guess this guy would. The uh, the spider in Doom Tower. This a-hole. If you don't have a, a team set up, this guy and his entire squad will place um, poisons. And those poisons do tick, and the poisons do enough damage to you where it's kind of like, eh, you know, it kind of sucks. Or if you're going up against Hydra, there is a head, the one that places the mists. Where is a... Um, is it that one? I think it's this one. I forgot. Hold on. Let me see. Besides the point, it's not that important. There's a, there's a head of poison here that places a bunch of poisons on your entire team. Uh, I guess that guy could help. Like, could you use him in Hydra? Let me see. He did have uh, de increased accuracy and decreased accuracy as well, so that could have some use. And then heal reduction, I don't really know where that's going to have any use. But yeah, this is definitely going to work, especially, or work well for you, especially with the increased duration of all ally buffs, and then um, the heal 
and uh, removal of debuffs. So yeah. Let's see what else other people are saying. Go watch videos about areas of the game that you're into. Uh, basically, do research is what this entire thing is saying. Do research. Have fun. It's a long game. Like connect with the community. Watch videos on how to do certain things. Armor giraffe. Set, armor giraffe. My God, that name, bro. My general thing early on is if I wasn't doing a fusion to just farm minnow if I had champs that needed masteries or farm silver for spider. Or sorry, spider for silver. Hit each potion keep. Yeah, that's definitely something you'd want to do. Unless you become end game, Or even maybe even just late game. You, like, I haven't touched the potion keep in a long time. Mostly because everything just comes from the uh, clan boss. Uh, stock of multis for the next fusion. As far as events do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Artifact enhanced. Yeah, so same thing. Run minnow. Skipping this one. Doing minnow. Getting one copy. Uh, try to get fragments for the fusion. Do not confuse with actual... Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, Minotaur. This guy says Minotaur. Minotaur. Skip the fusion. Epic tones. Blah, blah, blah. Take advantage of what's given to X speed. Use your free energy on dragon. Pray for good jobs. Yeah, new Minotaur. So it seems like a lot of people are doing Minotaur. Minnow, Minnow, Minnow right there. But yeah, what he just said, which I already forgot now that I'm back here. Let me see if I can go back. Oh, yeah. You can still do some of the events, and you can go ahead and grab fragments from Maud, right? So I could do some, um, oh, let me change some of these. I could do, let me open this. Nice. I can do um, some of these events here and grab the fragments. There's no fragments here, never mind. Not for this one, but for, because this is a trad, a trad um, fusion. But if it was a fragment fusion, go ahead and take that and then put it towards Maud, who I don't even know if it's good, if she's good or not. But yeah, there's that. 